<laughs> what? What size? Does it make you happy? What size does it need? We are streaming right now, by the way. Hello, world. I'm the invisible guy. It's not Facebook. It's already on there. I just sit here and talk smack. Wait here. I was oh, looking at you chowing down on my pizza here. Yesterday you were rolling all over the ground. All right, Facebook's up. The comments working? It should be, yeah. YouTube working? YouTube's up. We are good to go. Is it 5 o'clock? No, it's 5 o'clock. It is 5 o'clock. Brought to you by Little Caesar's Pepperoni Pizza. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of, let me grab that super shoe. to go what is up guys first case of gypsy queen getting ready to break I have not seen any of it yet I literally just came into the shop and they were waiting for me so when did it come out today FedEx just delivered these about an hour and a half ago <laughs> you got lucky with that well FedEx you know we know it's gonna work we're not worried about them showing up a lot of cards in here, I'll tell you that. How many boxes? Uh, 10 boxes, but 24 packs of box. You thought Sears 1 sucked? <laughs> Even longer? Yeah, I was going to do Jordan's going to have some fun sorting tomorrow. You want some Jordaning? Yeah, he'll be Jordaning all day. 2,400 cards a case, man. Yeah, we're going to see lots of good stuff on this one. All right, I'm going to just do some ripping, get some things prepped out. Is it a conflict of interest if I get in on the brakes? <laughs> I'll take your money. Just like anybody else's, Big John, I'll spend. Hell yeah. What, what is that card? Three chrome cards inside. A box topper. Each box have one or just? Uh, they have different toppers per box. What? Just told you, I just thought it was the first case I've opened. So. Is that a Tawny on the front? Yeah. It is. Okay. He's breaking cards, you gotta be good. Well, they put a lot of salt on this one. Yeah. Columbia's Bricks brought to you by Little Caesars. <laughs> brought some pretzel. I think our chats are working. I wouldn't know. We'll find out. Take a roll call. <laughs> roll call. Yeah, where's everybody, where's everybody viewing from? So I know I saw Vermont, I know I saw Arizona, I know I saw New York and Texas. Get Homer. No, I don't need Homer again. <laughs> Homer can stay at home. Hey, Springfield. <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's just cameras all jacked, let's fix that. Actually, it wasn't as jacked as I thought it was. That's only four boxes? Yeah. We're gonna be here all night. No, we're not gonna be here all night. We're gonna enjoy every minute of it. No, it'll it won't it won't, it won't go too bad. It'll actually go fairly quick. We'll spot the variations and the hits. Quick reminder, guys, we're shipping out everything. So uh, even though I both threw a few cards, you guys are getting it all. Yeah, we're live on the computer right now on TV. You wanna, you wanna, <laughs> you want me to put you on the cameras that way? Yeah. And say hi to the world. <laughs> She'd be our good luck charm. <laughs> yeah, when I hit three grand at the casino. Shop's still gonna. 
be open for another hour here, so we'll keep it tame for an hour. Tame ish. <laughs> <laughs> no, no midgets in the basement. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you could keep it clean, Big John. <laughs> <laughs> no pudding wrestling stories? No pudding wrestling. You gotta save that till the till the six o'clock hour. Till six six thirty showing. Definitely break a lot easier in series one, dude. Oh, the bags? Yeah, these packs break like butter. Some looks nicer. They're an older looking card. Just well, it's, I think that no, that's by design. Yeah. I'm gonna say that pack splits in half. <laughs> it's gonna be one of those nights. I was watching some early breaks. There was some kind of cool stuff that came out. Those oh, early stuff. Gypsy Queen? Yeah, yeah. Gypsy's fun. There's a lot of variations. Some of the hits are pretty sweet. Some of those memorabilia parts were, were pretty sweet. What's so. the box by itself? Just the hoppy box to go for. Oh, where are we at on this? I'm going to say they're like $100. $110 right now. I think that's where they're at on that. So you got to let people know that just in case they want to buy a box. Yeah, I think that's I think that's where we're at is one ten on them. I haven't even looked. Especially half Sean before I came on. You see Troy walk out of here with he he bought six cases of MLS. Really? Yeah. He's gonna be just ripping a ton of MLS. Soccer, is that you good? It's niche, but if you get in the right places you can sell pretty good with it. Yeah. It's not something you just throw up on eBay and just see what happens, though. He's in some Facebook groups where he moves some pretty good there. Uh, fills a lot of teams. So my vascular surgeon for my leg, he went to Russia for the World Cup. Really? Yeah. He was telling me about it. He's a huge soccer guy. He's on a soccer league. Hey, we're open until uh, open till 6 o'clock. If you're local, Angelico. If not, we can still work something out online. But yeah, shop's open for another hour still. Yeah, he went in Moscow, somewhere else in St. Petersburg for the three that he went to, cities that he visited. If I, if I wanted to went to Russia, I'd be afraid they'd probably Edward Snowed my ass. <laughs> well, you, wear a, you wear a Portland baseball hat, they might. You're like, yeah, you're, you're a spy. Yeah, come on down, man. What's the box of Gypsy Queen go for? Hobby box. 105. Okay, 105 for a box. That was close. I think I saw blow it at 110. That's probably where that came from. Oh, that no. could have been a party foul. I just want the disease. You want the disease, yeah. Kikuchi. Kikuchi. Will these have Quifo in it? <laughs> no, it's no. Not, not Quifo. What was his name? I don't know. He was a Tigers guy. Gosh, that would have sucked if I'd have done that. See? See, what you're seeing right there is actually what everybody's looking on their computer. Everybody's hearing us talk, so everybody's hearing you talk on the computer. You're a good luck charm for the day. All right. You're going to pull some Kikuchi for your dad. And some Quifo. <laughs> some Quifo. <laughs> Four hundred cards. Well, you start counting the twenty-four hundred. It would be done by the time we finish up the case. You know, the thing that sucks about being those old guy breakers, you start getting these arm cramps because you're busting the <laughs> <laughs> My life is so hard. 
<laughs> using muscles that you're not used to using, ripping the cars off. Right. Box tops at the very end. Yeah, I'll save save a little fun for the back there. You gotta invite in, invent one of those old machines, little pack opener machines. It just pulls a pack and opens it for you while you're breaking. Heck yeah. <laughs> kind of like when you're at the casino and they have those auto shuffle auto machines. Shuffles, it's, yeah. it's shuffling the deck that you're not using. I'd pay for that. You don't want to shuffle. No, I'd pay for the little pack openers. Just drop a whole bunch of packs in there and spit them out. Do you even have those? I don't know. I'll talk to my son. Maybe he can invent that. I can see that. I'd be down. I can imagine there's a lot of breakers that have no problems with that. I hope we go public. I can buy some stock in it. Right. Today's Wednesday. <coughs> is there any uh, tournament basketball today? Or is that all tomorrow? Um, I think it's tomorrow. I was going to say, instead of watching me pack rip, <laughs> you can watch some tournament basketball and then when I'm done, I'll just yell. Alright, you guys, we can watch the good stuff now. Lakers keep playing like they're going to play, they might get Zion. They're sucking bad enough, so probably get a lot of ping pong balls there. I saw from the news, some dude hit a 20-team parlay on the tournament. Really? I forgot what the bet was. It was like a $20 bet, and he got like $150,000 oh, for I it. Oh, did, I did see that. Yeah, I did see that. That's, that's, that's wild. What did they say? I think in the last round, they said all the favorites won. Yeah, but there was like I think it was like the only third time that's ever happened, I guess. First like first round, man. There's so many teams that were upset. Yeah, true. And it was like I saw something like less than one percent after the first round. Less than one percent of brackets were were still correct. Yeah, there's nothing left. The ESPN the ESPN got popped. I want to say Saturday morning they were done. They had no zero brackets that were still 100 percent perfect. I'm waiting to see how far Gonzaga goes. They're kind of like the little engine that could. Does that explain Oregon? I don't even look no, at the No, they're playing Florida State. I don't know. I think, I mean, I think they got a chance to win it all. They're pretty solid. And Oregon's playing. Um, they're not in the same bracket that Duke's in, right? No. So they'd play, the, they'd play in the championship if they're the last two? Yeah, because um, Gonzaga's a one seed and Duke was a one seed. But... Um, Keep this on camera. What was it? Oregon's playing Virginia. That's who they just played. Yeah, they're gonna have their hands full. I don't know, I think they could do it. <coughs> they're looking pretty solid right now. Yeah, they are. I don't I don't see Oregon going too much farther than they're going right now though. I don't know. March Madness. Crazier things have happened. Oh, well, that's true. That's true. Was in Virginia last year? Lost in the first round. Lost to a 16th seed. No, yeah, there's always some of that going on. I haven't watched as much of the tournament as I normally do. I've gotten more into it in the last couple of years. I mean, normally I did. This is the first year I think I can ever remember not even having a bracket. I didn't even go to one of those free sites and kick it out there. I've never done the bracket. It's too much time. All right. You know what? We're gonna start showing some cards off now, just because I don't feel like opening everything all at once. It's gonna get too crowded. <laughs> All right, guys, let's uh, start our first few boxes. Good luck. Let's see what we can chase down here. Again, I'm just looking for some variations. There's going to be a lot here that I probably passed up, but hits and variations are what we're going after. Blue variation, Nico Godrum. First fortune teller of the night is going to be a Kyle Tucker. That one's actually pretty good for Houston.
you memorize all the photo variations as well? Be able to see oh them yeah, sure. I, it's just what I, I know you did. <laughs> it's just what I did. I sat at home for You're the last hour just <clears throat> before I went and right. got pizza. <laughs> JD Martinez, strength, tarot card. So there's one of the variations. I missed that one. Glaber Torres blue. There's another oh. fortune teller. Another, another fortune, fortune teller. teller. We've got a Juan Soto with the Nats. <clears throat> the other thing, gotta look at the back too. See, we'll see if we can uh, see any. They got all these funky back ones too. Let's see if we can catch any of these in the middle. Is that one got the funky back? You gotta look for the blank backs. They've got the crackjack backs. Not me in that first pile there. Texture was a little funny on these. Just thinking we had something. Hey, we got our first auto. So I'm gonna go to Baltimore Orioles. Cedric Mullins. Congratulations to the O's. Scott Hoffman is the first one on the board here. The gigantic soft slaves. <laughs> How many autographs per box? Two, I believe. Yeah, two on cards. That's another thing about Gypsy too, is they speci specialize in on cards. There we go. There's a variation. You'll notice it does not have the name plate on there. Oh yeah. Uh, yep, yeah, that's one of the one of them. So that's uh, Zach Cozart variation. It's one of the Angels. Fortune Taylor Hobby Baez for the Cubs. Strength card, Aaron Judge. These cards are fun just to sit at home and play for play with them for several hours. <laughs> <laughs> just digging in, trying to figure out what you have. Like, oh, there's a photo variation. Oh, there's a blank back. There's. Speaking of, yeah, we already have the Nick Nick Audrum variation there too. It's easy to pass over it. Yeah. Two of Wands. Xander Bogarts. Tarot card. Fortune Teller. Luis Arias of Padres. There's a. Walker Bueller, number to 50. Kind of got a glossy front on that. Oh, that's a cool. Kind color. of a different color. Going to the Dodgers. I thought it was a redemption at first. Yeah, no, I just drained the color out of it. Fortune Teller, JD Martinez, the Sox. Didn't we call him already? Oh, on a different one we did. Mark Trumbo of the Orioles. Got a blue border. His blue borders are numbered to 250. Separate the variations here, just keep them in the same pile. Can't really help if I can do them one by one. There we go. <laughs> Looks like they're slick. Yeah, they're slick, but they're soft and subtle. All right, next autograph going to Astros, George Springer. Nice card. That one is number 25. George Springer of the Astros is heading to Cesar G Garcia. Cesar G Garcia. I think that pretzel pizza pretzelized my tongue. <laughs> the salt. It was the salt. I don't know, something. It was the salt. <laughs> Talking like I'm slurring or something. There you go, Cesar. Sure, blame me for the pizza. Yeah, well, Big John, your job's to make me fat. <laughs> That's why I bring you iced coffee. <laughs> it works pretty good. <laughs> Helps me keep my job. <laughs> right. Speaking of 
keeping your job, actually. Nolan Arenado of the Rocks, sports and color. Hey, I picked the Rocks for the first round. I was looking at, hey, congrats, there you go, Arenado for you. I was looking at a new location today. Where? 112th. We might be moving the warehouse. It looked really good, actually. This place here is wanting all of our money, and I don't want to give it to them. Next tarot card is the exit card with the unemployed Craig Kimbrell. That one's going to be a Sox card, though. They want to raise their rent by $7,000 a month. Bunch of crack smokers. Is it this place? Yeah. Ace of Wands going to New York. The Grom there. I thought they were willing to work with you. Yeah, that was working with me. They took $2,000 off the initial. So we might be moving the shop and the warehouse. Okay, we got another one where the colors drained. Francisco Lindor. Awesome. Number to 50 for the <coughs> Cleveland Indians. Oh, they're not playing this right now. Wait, Lindor's on the not playing list? Yeah, I think that's what I saw. It's like some big ankle strain or something like that. Oh, I didn't catch that. Blue Border, Josh Hader of the Brewers. Uh, Mr. Hader's number to 250. Next fortune teller is Justin Verlander of the Astros. Left the auto right there, so we can just stare at the back of the auto for a while until I go through this file. <laughs> All right, speaking of the auto, it's a blue bordered auto, Christian Stewart of the Detroit Tigers. Which will be number to one, Fitty. Detroit Tigers, Scott Cohen. Don't worry, John. Still a lot of cards to go. We can get your Kikuchi for you. <laughs> I want the disease. We'll give you the disease. I want the disease. Take it, Scott. Leave my Kikuchi alone. Yeah, you can keep your Kikuchi out of this. <laughs> we can get some Quifo. Yeah, you can take your Quifo. <laughs> and your Kikuchi. All right. There's a whole lot of cards. Yeah. See, I was doing my uh, my my breaker exercises earlier today. Yeah, looking at warehouses. <laughs> yeah, I was driving. Use this hand. Use All this right. hand. Exactly. <laughs> Loosen this forearm up. All right. Oh, there's a different card I haven't seen yet. A different color. Let's see what we got here. It's another tarot card. The Emperor Mookie Betts of the Sox. Yeah, yeah she may have a new building at the end of summer to work in. How far is it away? <laughs> uh, 112th and Burton. Christian Yelich, fortune teller of the Brewers. Not too far. We have to get we'll up put, earlier. put the shop over there in the Safeway Plaza. This is what I'm looking at. I'm looking at that one tomorrow. Bigger shop. Safeway Plaza. We'll buy hey, we got another auto. Brad Keller of the Kansas City Royals. Kansas City. Matt Reeser. The Safeway shop over there where Big Lots is at now, or no, no, no. Safeway down on uh, 100 and 112th and Burton. It's around the corner. Oh. Way down there, over by the water tower. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. There he is. It's uh, it's right on the road. It's got some good visibility. Next to a Mexican restaurant, so we can. Um, yeah, uh, there's a there's a there's a pub over there. Huh? That's kind of that's kind of funny. All right, next tarot card's gonna be Yasiel Puig of the Reds. He's got the Joker card. They gave him Joker. That's <laughs> <laughs> kind of funny. All right, next autograph's going to Oakland. Chris Davis. Oakland A's. Chris Donati. He's getting Chris Davis. Not seeing any Mariners yet, John. Yeah, I noticed that. We still got six boxes. Yeah. I get another piece of pizza. You should do that. Easy. You should do that. And get some of that pretzel up. I am. Steal the big piece. There you go, Chris. It's 
on my Bobita. This is we have chased everybody off Facebook completely. Everybody's on Facebook. It's like, okay, this, this guy's again. If you're missing out on Facebook, it's going to be a big hit, and you guys are going to wish you saw it. Nobody's on Facebook? <laughs> no, it's all YouTube right now. Chris Bryant, Fortune Teller of the Cubs. YouTube's where the cool cats hang out anyway. Hey, there's a Mariner. Edwin and Cartonacion. Ten of Swords. Woohoo! I'll take it. It's not Kikuchi. They've actually though. updated pretty quick if they got Encarnacion in the Mariner's jersey already. It's like this time of year, you still have all the old jerseys still. Tops was on the game there. So we see Harper in the Phillies? <laughs> I don't know, possibly. There's a second show hey, already. Glaber, fortune teller for the Yanks. Yeah. Gene Segura, Phillies. They already switched him too. Next fortune cook, fortune cookie, yeah. <laughs> Luis Arias again, fortune cookie, or a fortune teller, one of the two. Can use a fortune cookie right about now. I'd be so happy if I had a cookie right now. Coffee place across the street already closed, though, so I can't have any more cookies. Go to go to go to Papa John's. <laughs> <laughs> trout. Don't think that's the variation trout. Corey Kluber, the Magician Tarot card for the Indians. Evasel Garcia, White Sox Blue Border, numbered to, to 250. Seriously, I cannot talk today. Like, damn, this guy's got mush mouth. It's salt from the pizza. That's what it is. I'll have to have a little sip of something here. Unfortunately, it's not the right thing. I think Joe Beauty Rum's still in the back, though. Yeah, Next fortune teller is going to be J.D. Martinez. I think we already saw one of his, too. I think we saw two or three of his. Hope, so, hope our Red Sox uh, guy's a J.D. Martinez fan. All right. Ozzy Albies, the world fortune t or tarot card for the Braves. Some of these images are pretty sweet. Philadelphia Phillies, we were just talking about you. You got your first auto. Dylan Cousins. For the Name Phillies. Familiar. Philadelphia, Nestor Cortez. There you go, Nestor. Forgetting to look at the backs on these two. Before I'm sticking them in, see if we can find any back variation. Not to mess out on that one. Got to be Ryan reminding me of this, Big John. Hell yeah. Yeah. I'm too busy stuffing pizza in my mouth. Well, yeah, well, it's not doing the guys any good. <laughs> 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 give me pizza or give me a Cracker Jack back. There we go. There's another blank name plate, Kansas City. Heath Fillmeyer's got a blank. Looks like I got Sandy Koufax in here too. Yeah, but is it one on one signed? No, no, not yet. Not yet anyway. That was cool that day. Yeah, you gotta hit another one of those one on one Koufaxes. You're due. I gotta hit one on one anything. Really? You can pitch <laughs> a one on one Kikuchi here. Yeah, that would be cool. Have the disease. All right. Apparently Acuna's a joker as well here too on the tarot card. The Braves. Do, do, do. Come on, let's see a big hit. Oakland's got autograph number two, Matt Chapman. That's their second one. We had the Chris uh, Davis. Yeah, I was gonna say I didn't get Chapman before, but he got a second auto. No, but they had Chris Davis. 
A guy named Chris. Yeah, yeah, and that Chris has a map too. Here we go, Chris, meet Matt. <laughs> No one or not, oh, fortune teller. Another Rocky. Yep. Mm -hmm. You're on the rocks too, aren't you, big dog? On the rocks, the D backs and the Mariners should break one. You're on the rocks. John on the rocks. It sounds like a drink. Yeah, well, it's a it's a it's a dirty drink. Yeah. Shaken, not stirred. Dirty Grammy Agnes. <laughs> yeah. Shaken, not stirred. <laughs> All right. Let's get my last pile and we'll start busting more packs. Do these come with jersey cards or? No, it's straight autos. Or yeah, no, I digress. Yeah, there is there there is some material cards in here. I saw that you threw out earlier. All right, Edwin Diaz, New York Mets exit card. Make sure Jordan sends that to the Mets this time, as opposed to the Mariners last time he did that. Oh, Jordan. Oh, Jackie. <laughs> it was Don Russ, and it said New York on it, but he knew Diaz used to play for the Mariners. So he sent him to Seattle. <laughs> We're not perfect. Acuna, fortune teller. Come on, let's see something. No, there should be still one more to go before we uh, start opening again. If my count is correct, I think I saw Harper. Oh, that was Martinez. And that one's going to Pittsburgh Pirates, Colin Moran. Going to Pittsburgh. Craig. Yeah, isn't that a second Pittsburgh? Mm -hmm. You're asking me to remember too far back, Big John. Us old guys just don't have that kind of memory. Oh, I don't either, but... We'll find out in the hit recap at the <coughs> end. That's true. All right, there you go, Craig. Baseball better than I do. Chris Davis, fortune teller. A lot of Oakland. So we're getting a lot of Oakland uh, early on here. Verlander, fortune teller. That's his second. Yeah. Take a, take a quick look at the backs here, see if we got lucky on anything. Which of the series that makes it look like the bubble gum's on it? Bazooka? Remember, I thought there was a series that came out last year that made it look like there was a bubblegum stripe down the back of some of the cards. Oh, you're talking about those uh, 1979 and the Topps cards that still have the bubblegum in them. Well, yeah, but no. They, <laughs> I don't think I know what you're talking about. I thought there was a series last year that did it, to made it look like a facsimile of a, oh, I don't know. That would, a gum stripe down the back. Sounds kind of fruity to me, but it could have. I don't know. Where do things have happened? We've literally lost every viewer. They're all going to watch the recording and fast forward it because they're bored as heck right now. <laughs> there's a whole lot Let's of just fast forward to the hits. There's a whole lot of cards in here. I know. It's like. Yeah, it is kind of. You know, that's the good thing about YouTube. You can just kind of forward to the end and see what hit. Go to hit recap and. Right. See, well, either made money or lost money. Right. They're going to watch us on tape delay. <laughs> They're probably going to them two are boring tonight. Oh, man. No, no, no midget wrestling. No, no midget wrestling. Pudding jokes. No pudding jokes. Nobody in the basement sitting in their boxers. All right, exactly. No naked, Do it, doing car naked breaks. breakers in mom's basement. <laughs> naked breakers. I wasn't going that far. No, they don't wear any pants. Did I tell you that? Yeah, you said that, but I was at least saying that. Those midget breakers that like don't have any boxers on. No, wow, they don't have any boxers on either. So I, I wouldn't know by first hand, but I'm just assuming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you really want me to believe that? Yeah. I don't know. I'm just, I mean, it's a rumor. It's, it's one of those old wives' tales. <laughs> it's kind of like the Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> yeah. It's one of those unwritten rules. It is. It's the Loch Ness Monster, you know? Urban legends. You just don't know if it's rule. Actually, well, most of them are, most of those guys are in Scotland anyway. So <laughs> they probably are the Loch Ness monster. 
All right. Well, since I know nobody's watching, who's this? Oh, oh, I can't say that anymore. We got people watching now. <laughs> it's probably my mom. She's probably like, oh, let's make sure we're keeping it clean here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that or your wife. Yeah. We're gonna have to talk when you get home. Buddy. Yeah. We're gonna stop talking about the Loch Ness monster, Tahoe Tessie. <laughs> I saw Tahoe Tessie before. I ever tell you that? No. I'm serious, dude. That thing's real. Out there throwing rocks at this log, and all of a sudden the log went underwater and it resurfaced 60 feet to the other side. It was a tail, the Tessie tail. Yeah, you better fix your glasses. Dude, I'm serious, man. Tahoe Tessie was BA in me. She was hanging a big old BA right at me. Yeah, well, you better check the description of your glasses. I wasn't wearing glasses back then. I could actually see back in those days. Well, that's probably when you needed glasses. <laughs> Yeah, it was one of them bodies that had been thrown in Tahoe that were some murder suspect. Oh, oh Tessie, man. She breaks her boxers, too. <laughs> She's all cracking those Indians, man. I just remember that because I was in one of those museums out there in Truckee. And they were showing little Indian photos of Tahoe Tessie chomping on the villages. <laughs> the Indians saw her, man. She's a real thing. She's out there. It's a big ass lake. It's easy to hide in there. It's deep too. Yeah, it is. You don't tell me there's no Tahoe Tessie in there. I'm not saying there is or isn't, but you still might want to get your glasses checked. Yeah. She just hides in her mom's basement when she's breaking cards. She's breaking she doesn't cards. Wear any she's hiding in her, watching pudding wrestling on TV. <laughs> right. We want chocolate. You know what I should do? I, it's one of these breaks. I should just like imitate all my other breaker friends that I'm, are out there. <laughs> We gotta watch some breakers and maybe we'll just hold a poll. Like, okay. Well, for was, for, was, for, a, for this prize, I'll be giving out a box of national treasures to who who am I imitating on this one? First person to say it wins. I wanna see you do the southern accent. I don't I can't do that, man. Oh come on man, you gotta get it on down there. Man. I'm not dragging nuts either. I can't do that. <laughs> Oh, you can get all back, all back, I can't all boys, all something like that. Drop f bombs over the word. It's not me, man. I'll save that to the net draggers. <laughs> hey, I defer. It brings them luck. I defer. I'm just saying. That dude's rolling some coin, though. I'll tell you, his stick has got him that's paid. That's what we should. He has gotten paid. That's what you should do. Is like come up with like a trivia question. Like yeah. A box or something, or a pack or something. Yeah. You know. Like, the simple as a question, get a pack of. I'm just telling you. What, bre Queen what breaker am I right now? I'll just take a card and hold it up to the camera. Yeah. I'm not watching the Red Sox game over here. Yeah, there's a card. <laughs> there's a card. <laughs> that did breaks more than anybody I know, too. Dude's sitting here in the skivvies and the tank top. White Peter. Yeah, totally. There you go. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's like, yeah, you guys. Go just, red. You guys just paid me all this money for this player. Here you go. Hey, look at that. We got a crowd back. Do we? I'm kind of wondering if the stream on YouTube just died or something, and we just got it back up there, and people are just like, oh, what the hell? What's going on here? Yeah, that maybe they're finally seeing we're getting stuck talking about something interesting. It's like, well. Forget the cards. Let's talk more about Tahoe Tessie it's, and her boxers. It's PG-13 now. We can, we can tune back in. Oh, shop's still open for another 22 minutes. We don't have any customers, so it's all yeah, good. We got Zoe. She's heard worse. Right. Yeah, sure. She's heard me chew her mom out. Okay. You know what? I don't want. I don't want to. Don't want you to have to say anything on tape, tape that can be used against you in court. So careful yeah. with that one, Big John. I ain't worried about it. Playing her Roblox or watching her Minecraft videos. <sighs> All right, I need to know some scores, man. What scores is going on? <laughs> some of those basketball games they got to be going on right now. Is that today or tomorrow? I think it's tomorrow. Why the heck would they plan a stupid basketball tournament on baseball opening day? That's what I want to know. Competition. I'll tell you right now, I ain't gonna be watching no basketball tomorrow. I'm gonna be watching. Watching my direct TV with all six games, I one shot. Watching baseball. I, I scheduled no appointments for tomorrow. I'm pulling up in my office, and I'm just gonna be like, you know what? I'm watching Close, baseball. Closing your door. I'm watching baseball. You guys can burn the building down. I am watching baseball. <laughs> Don't tell Chip that. Well, we are. They already proved the fire extinguishers work. I mean, the fire sprinklers work. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Don't tell Chip that. All you have to do is drive that forklift back into them again. We got instant water. Found that out. 
The look on his face was priceless. Seriously, man, that guy beat the crap out of the sprinklers. I'm surprised they didn't all turn on. The look on his face was priceless. Deer in the headlights. <laughs> yeah. It's only cost me 3000 bucks, so I guess that was good. Yeah. Uh, take it out of his check. Garnish me 25%. It's okay. It cost me a little more than that uh, $375 I had to pay yesterday to change all the locks on the building. That wasn't cool. I had nothing to do with that. No, you didn't. I blame you anyway, Big John. Hell yeah. Somebody's got, I got big shoulders. <laughs> I can take it. We're going to just bust through all these packs here real quick. So this way we can just shotgun it. Works for me. TV timeout, you guys. Take your whiz and everything like that. And we'll, <laughs> That's we'll, we'll, be, we'll be rolling here in another 5-10 minutes. <laughs> hey, see, Troy knows what it's about. Opening day. <laughs> Absolutely. He's going to be watching his MLB network all ready for work. Yeah. I got that app, app, app on my TV in my office. Gonna shut that down, seriously. It's baseball day. <laughs> it's telling you. Baseball. Boring is sport in Tell that boss he can go bop himself, man. I'm watching some watching baseball. I just might tomorrow. I'm not What'd you just say? It's the most boring sport. It's the boring sport, man. Jeez, what the hell are we breaking right now? It's baseball. Don't even tell me. It's not even boring. You want to? You want to? Tell me something that's n that, that that that's more exciting now. Uh, let's see. I don't watch let's soccer. See. That, yeah, I'd, that rather <coughs> I'd rather watch synchronized swimming. No, oh, please, dude. I'll, I'll <laughs> throw you in the pool and you can do your synchronized swimming right now. <laughs> Go I gotta for put it. that crap pipe down. I'm not, if I'd have known this, I wouldn't have hired you to begin with, Big John. <laughs> Can't be saying that. <laughs> See, Troy's watching it on his phone and on his TV. God knows what's that. <laughs> Heck, if you're in the Vancouver area, come and hang with me in my office. We can just both just hang and watch some TV. Yeah. John's fired. You can, you can, you can work John's job. <laughs> you can work John's job. He doesn't like baseball. Seriously, John? I like baseball. It's just boring at times. You know what's boring? Because it's a thinking man's sport. And when you don't know how to think, it bores you. When there's like a no hitter going on or something like that, it's awesome. See, just, Troy already fired you, dude. He just fired your ass right now. <laughs> what did he say? He just said he's fired. <laughs> Thanks, Troy. Fire Big John's ass. Tell him to go run that barbecue business now. He doesn't need to be working. I here. will. And <laughs> you'll be banned. <laughs> Troy and I are going to be hanging out in my office watching some baseball, and you're going to be out there pulling through ribs. That's right. I'm gonna make sure I park my barbecue trailer right outside your office too. Yeah, so, you just, well. so you just get to smell it all day. Uh oh, now they're calling on the phone already. They've had <laughs> enough of this already. Uh, the guy doesn't like baseball, he's gotta go. Oh my god, seriously? The guy works in the shop, doesn't like baseball. There's nothing boring about baseball. You just, you just have to be able to pay attention. It's not like it's not like they're out there just busting each other's skulls in. So, I mean, I get that part of it, but you know what it is? It's darn, you darn kids nowadays, you just have no attention. <laughs> you, you can't pay attention to anything anymore. Oh, just distract, yeah, I'm a kid. Distracted by all these things. You are a kid. <laughs> Compared to me, you're a kid. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> oh, darn it's Generation Z people. <laughs> oh, now I'm a millennial. <laughs> no, no, you're below millennial. I think it's a Z. <laughs> It's only about an hour away. It's near about, Salem. I'm See, Troy's in Salem. He says he's not going to make it up to watch baseball with me. I'm a dumb, dumb millennial. I'll meet you in Lake Oswego, Troy. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're, like, you're going very far. She's in Salem. That's like the halfway point, That's isn't close. it? Maybe Wilsonville. End up in Wichita's watching baseball. Wichita's. It's a pub. Is that one of those little strip clubs you go to? Hey, we can leave those out of it. Just asking. Leave my strip clubs alone. Ooh, going out there looking for those midget breakers. That's right. In mom's basement. <laughs> midget strippers. All right, Troy. Door's always open, man. It's always open if you want to come up here. Baseball cool. starts tomorrow, and it's on until the end of October. And apparently, John won't be in there watching it with me because he'll be bored. Well, John's not at work tomorrow, so he doesn't have to worry about just it. Staying in general. MLB TV, we'll just be running that thing nonstop. I already get accused of coming in and talking to you enough as it is. That's because Brian's jealous. They all 
goes. Uh, I'm not paying attention to this pile. They're getting perilous, perilously crooked. We're going to fix that problem. Who cares? Yeah, yeah. I don't need another party foul going on. <laughs> yeah. Like Just that. Like that. Yeah, hey, that was your Kikuchi. It was it? No. Oh, damn. I'm getting my hopes up. Sorry. I was looking for my 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 pills, my penicillin for the Kikuchi. You can save it for the you can save it for the for the, the box toppers. <laughs> oh, the Ram's a good call. I'd, I'd go to the Ram down in Wilsonville. That's ball. That's a good midpoint. My son used to go to school in Wilsonville, so I know the area fairly well. Oh, they put one down in Wilsonville. I knew there was one in Clackamas. Hey, yeah, there are a few of them. There's one in Lake O as well. We've gone there. A bunch of us gone there lunch on the weekends. Yeah, I gotta make some space here. I haven't been to the Ram since I used to live in Lake Oswego. It was a long time ago. That was way back when you were a glimmer in your mother's eye, Big John. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or is that father's eye? I don't know what the saying is. <laughs> Maybe my grandfather's eye. Yeah, way back in when I lived in Lake Oswego. When did you live in Lake Oswego? Oh my gosh. 23 years ago? Is that true? Yeah, I was still in California. 23 years ago. How did that happen? I started you know? x ray school like 23 years ago. I lived in California for a while, and I always thought that I'd spent most of my life in California. But I officially have not spent most of my life in California anymore. I've crossed that threshold. I've uh, become I've a Washingtonian officially, and then I'm still a native foreign. I'm not, you're not taking that away from me. Yeah, it's only by birth. No matter, I was there for plenty of months. <laughs> you got your six months residency in. Still getting, I'm still going to get my tribal tats, man. That I want to see. I will. I'm going to tribal tat. You're going to see this gun right here, man, is going to be loaded. All the way down your arm. The gun is going to be loaded. It's going to be loaded. It's going to be loaded. <laughs> Hawaiian tribal tats. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going there in a couple months. Get hammered on a bunch of Mai Tais and be like, it's time. It's time to load the gun. <laughs> Go to Moose McGilly Cuddies. I know they have cheap Mai Tais. I don't eat the good stuff, man. Monkey Pod. Monkey Pod's where the Mai Tais are. They got that special pineapple foam on top. We were, where were we at? We were there for my sister's wedding, me and my brother. And the Moose McGilly Cuddies or whatever had to sell on them. So we just sat at the bar and got drunk and drinking a while watching my parents walk up and down the street. That doesn't sound very wholesome, Big John. <laughs> Looking for us. We don't talk about drinking like that. I do. We don't talk about dragging nuts. We don't talk about I'm not drinking. talking about dragging nuts. I'm telling you. It's the last box, guys. After this box, we can start seeing some cards again. <laughs> 24 more packs and we can go. Maybe we'll be done by 6.30. Yeah, we're actually making a good pace, believe it or not. For the next, we're 45 minutes in right now. For the next break, I'm just I'm happy because I'm seeing no more boxes back there, so we can just start talking about that. Yeah, 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 until the next break. I mean, I enjoy the cards way more than I enjoy the opening the packs. I'll tell you that right now. Yeah, well, like I said, talk to you, like you said, talk to your son, see if he can, he's an intelligent boy. I'll tell you right now, I pay some good money, oh, who's calling me? State College, Pennsylvania, gosh, I already paid your sales taxes. It wasn't my watch telling me that, wow, you've done a great job exercising, because I'm shaking it so many times. <laughs> Uh, is this the first? It is Troy. First case still. It's probably going to start telling you. And actually, I think we're only four boxes in, too, so we're not even at the halfway yeah. point. But No, we're, we are four boxes in. The good news is, is we're going to fire these off real quick now so that we can finally uh, stop opening packs. Until break two. Well, let me do it all over again. I heard somebody told me you got the Mariners in break two as well. Because yeah. you really want that Kikuchi. I am. Heard it's a good disease. Heard you chase that Kikuchi. Trying to catch that Kikuchi. Well, I was trying to get Kifo also, but 
I don't remember what team that Kuiper was on. I think it was a Tiger. I don't know, man. <laughs> we got in the warehouse, we got Jordaning and Kuipering. Yeah. Dude, and Kuipo. I gotta think of a new, new term for the Kuipo <laughs> part. I don't know. That one just kind of gets me a little bit. All right. Last pile. We're almost there, guys. Telling me already that every. Um. Oh, I think we did get bumped offline on YouTube. It's back to sending data again. Really? Yeah, I don't know. Is it YouTube or Facebook? It doesn't say it's online. Let me look. I think we might be keep getting bumped off. Uh, uh, maybe we're still okay. Yeah, it's just confused. We're on YouTube. YouTubers, you're still out there, yeah? Even though it's telling me that we're not streaming to YouTube, we're still on there. Somebody say something. Make me feel okay. I think Restreams is not playing, but playing very nice right now. Actually, I think the chat might not be working on YouTube is what's going on. It's so it's sending data, it's not receiving. I think the chat's only working on Facebook. Is that YouTube that causes that? Is that the program? I don't know. I don't know. Because it's telling me I have zero viewers, but when I go to Facebook, we've got eight people on there. So Enough of that crap, you guys. Let's look, let's look at some cards. Go for some Kikuchi. All right, yeah, afterwards you can find some Kikuchi. All right, back at it. Magician Clayton Kershaw, Tarot. Max Muncy, that funky Muncy. Fortune Teller, Jacob deGrom of the Mets. Blue Border Severino for the Yanks to 250. I think he's out too. I thought it was Batonsis. Yeah. But it might be Severino. I, think I, don't I saw some Severino out too. Uh, I can't keep track. Oh, okay, we're still on. Cool. Kyle, Kai just told me we're still on. YouTube? Our, yeah, our program was lying to me, but. Alright, I feel better now. It's because we're not one of them basement breakers. Yeah, Kai, Kai, Kai's telling you, you need, you need to start getting put, putting you to work and getting you to open these packs. He doesn't pay me enough. Yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> You know what I'm going to do some night? I'm just going to put you back here opening. You, you can just open and I'm going to sit in the big John chair and cheer you on. <laughs> <laughs> David Bote, Chicago Cubs auto. I don't think so. I'm serious. I'm just telling you if you want to you want to brand the, the big John big John name, you got to get yourself on camera and give it to the people, you know? <laughs> I get Ray Allen? I, I would talk too much trash. I'm just telling you, man. The public doesn't want to see me. They want to see Big John. start a poll on your Facebook page. If they vote for me, I'll do it. All right, I'm just telling you right now. Go find you a lucky hat. But you can't. Max Scherzer of the Nats. All the votes can't be by you. No, I'll, uh, I'll load it. I'll stuff the ballot. I'll, I'll stuff the ballot like it's a presidential election, man. Somebody's Trout, too. Scott the Thunder. Yeah, I can get political with some of these stuffing ballots, but I won't. So I almost missed that one. Kenley Jansen blank for the Dodgers. So now that Trout signed that huge contract, does that make his cards worth more? You know what? Hang on a second. Corbin Burns, Milwaukee Brewers is the next auto. Milwaukee. I think we've already done done one for him. Nope, Tim. I haven't called yet. Tim, we got one now. You know, after he signed that contract, I was trolling Fibe for some Trouts. And, yeah. yeah, they were pretty darn expensive. They've gone up a lot. Really? Yeah, they'll settle in a couple weeks, but yeah, the whole world all of a sudden wanted to be lucky. But yeah, not a bad time to be selling trouts right now, although I've got a feeling he's a good buy and hold. There's your Bryce Harper, he's still in Nats uniform. Yeah, still in the Nats. Yeah. They got Machado and the Padres. Um, my guess is probably no. Maybe oh, wait, see? see? Here we go. Oh, there you go. Here we go. We got our first uh, bazooka back. Jeffrey Springs of the Texas Rangers. I knew we were going to find something sometime. Well, it took a couple of years. Well, it's only five boxes in. Yeah. I don't even know what the rarity is on those. I haven't checked that. Obviously, it's got to be fairly rare. That's the first one we've seen. Oh, yeah. 
Troy's dishing it out to you, man. He says you can't be on camera because you think baseball's boring. <laughs> can't be on camera because the yeah. boss doesn't want me on camera. Yeah, well, John can't be on camera because, let's see, we could play match game. Fill in the blank. <laughs> <laughs> Max Kepler, blue, bordered to 250. We get our little panel of B-movie stars and throw them up on the sixth <laughs> thing. Tell some big old story. John can't be on camera because he's got the Kikuchi disease. That's right. And I, it shows up on my big old pimples on my face. <laughs> I think you should do like you did. Go through the backs first. Well, no. That was the backs after. <laughs> you well, I know, but I think you're you not paying attention, John. No, you did, but I think you should go through the what I mean is you should go through the backs first. Oh, uh, Chris Davis, fortune teller, and the tarot diamond. Gosh darn it, it's a tarot card. Well, oh, learn these terms help. here. Too much of that marijuana in my drink. Hey, at least you got some. Yeah. All right, Charlie Blackman, going black and white to 50 for the rocks. Wait a minute, who's on the rocks? Is that Big John? That Big John, hell All right. yeah. All right, Kristen Yelich, fortune teller. All right, here, we'll check the backs again just for you. Well, you said I got to keep up on my job, so I'm keeping up on my duties. All right. You get a raise. Ooh, I get a raise all the time. Get some extra vacation time. How about I give you the rest of this week off, John? I'll take it. <laughs> you're hating that I'm off all week. Tell me the people you're in charge with, are, uh, they're running the roost, man. It's because I'm not there. Yeah. Fortune teller KB of the Cubs. Tarot card. Bryce Harper of the Nationals. Ace of Swords. There you go. That answers your question again. Harper is not a Philly in Gypsy Queen yet. Do they have oh, my favorite auto. Going to the LA Dodgers. Max Muncy. That funky Muncy. <laughs> oh man, you gotta get that on recording and play it when you pull Just his. Just telling you, yeah, I, got, I do need to get the Funky Muncie song. Go to Dodger Stadium, watch one of those home runs, and keep the recorder going. The LA Dodgers, Brian Looney, has got the Funky Muncie. Why are you not pulling all the variation? Out? You know, James, I'm looking for the variations, hoping to catch some of those. I believe me, when we sort, they're going to be definitely taken care of. Unfortunately, there's so many of these variations that we're not catching all of them first time. It's not a matter of time consuming. It's a matter of there's a lot of them, and I uh, this is the first case I've seen. I blame that one on John. Hell yeah. I'll take the blame. That's what I'm here for. I'm trying to throw them all on camera, and I'm trying to catch the variations. And we are checking the backs. When we get to the bottom of the pile. Next to auto is going to the Minnesota Twins, Eddie Rosario. So Gypsy Queen are all on card autos? They are on card. No stickers? Uh, I don't, they brag about being on card. I haven't seen a sticker yet, so hopefully that's the case. Minnesota Twins, James. There you go, James, you chime in and you get an auto. How's that? Yep, we ship everything. We're going to make sure. I, I don't I don't want to make sure that I catch everything because uh, if I don't ship everything and I miss the variation, I would not be very happy. LA Dodgers, no name. That's not a Dodger. That's Ray. That's Willie Adams. See? Told you. Chime in, you get an auto. Anybody else want, want an auto? Been chiming in Big all John's night. giving him out. I've been chiming, in, chime all, in. <laughs> chiming in all night. I, I think he scares the Kikuchi away. Altuve, the star. He doesn't have to just shut up now. <laughs> no, we uh, we will have these things very well protected. So if for some reason a variation gets missed, they will still get it to you all nice and happy. Michael Tucker, Houston fortune teller. Ryan McMahon, did he ever win that second base position with Colorado? I never saw that. 
don't know. I don't know either. I drafted him on a fantasy team thinking he's going to do it. So I'm just curious. We just blew through one of his cards. You know what's awesome? What's awesome? Jordan gets to sort all these tomorrow. Better him than me. Just telling you. I'm off. He gets to earn his money tomorrow. I'm off tomorrow. You gotta listen to Jim Rome all the time outside my office doing all that sorting. <laughs> Does he still do that? Are you kidding me? He, Jim Rome's is more important than his job. Well, Jim Haven't Rome, you seen that? No, who is it? Michael Savage he's been listening to it a lot lately. Yeah, probably after Jim Rome, that was my guess. Yeah, probably. Oh, it's the same trial, that's not the variation. Jessica Turner. Aaron Nola, Fortune Teller. The Emperor, Mookie Betts. I think that's the second bets that we have seen in the tarot cards. No, I'm okay with Jim Rome. I'm just saying that one of my employees is fascinated. Well, he's not fascinated. He's, uh, hang on, excuse me a second. Andrew McCutcheon, New York Yankees. New York Yankees? He's a Philly. Number to 50. All right. Well, Yankees, there you go. There's a hit. Joe? Signature? Yeah, check that out. That's a sweet auto. And black and white. Yeah, that's a sw sweet Sweet double. Auto. It is. It's like a variation auto number. Come on, get in there. There you go. There he is. That one's actually a pretty kick ass card. Alright, what was I saying about Jordan? No, uh Jim Rome. He's uh I don't want to say fascinated. Let's see. He's infatuated, infatuated with him. How's yeah. that? Sometimes it affects his work. Edwin and Carcion, Ten of Swords, Tarot. Hey, look, my watch is telling me I did pretty good. My stand goal was achieved, even though I'm sitting. You burned off the pizza you ate. <laughs> right? Wait, I, wait, hang on, my wife is watching. I didn't eat any pizza. What are you talking about? <laughs> Jacob DeGrom? Oh, my bad. I did not eat a pretzel crust pizza the with pizza I ate. cheese sauce on top of it. The pizza I ate. Jalen Bears, Tampa Bay Rays. You wore off. Number <laughs> I'm telling you, breaking is hard work, though. You can burn some calories doing this. All right, we got any more bazooka backs here? Not on that one. What are we doing? It must be six o'clock. I think we are right on t on pace. All right. After this, after we do our little hit parade at the end, we will have break number two, and since the store is closed, it'll be. Columbia breaks after hours. Columbia. How's that? Columbia after hours. Columbia after hours. We'll just take where that where you want. Hold on, Acuna. <laughs> Doesn't say anything goes when Big John's in here. <laughs> after hours. <laughs> Blake Snell, fortune teller. Oh yeah, put the blame on me just in case your wife is listening. <laughs> hey, you're the one that got divorced, dude. I'm just, I'm just <laughs> keep throwing around you for there. Hey, hey, let's not forget. Just saying, man. I'm the one that paid for a nursing school, and then she decided to hit me. I'm just saying she can. So I filed. I'm, I'm just saying if I need to blame somebody, it works. Hey, we got another one. Bazooka back. Who's this one oh, going to yeah. be? Jose Abreu of the Chicago White Sox. Just saying if I need if I need somebody to take the grenade for me. Yeah, I'll take it. Yeah, that's all. That's all I'm doing, man. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna throw dirt on you otherwise. I'll take the grenade. All right. Your phone's going crazy. It's not my. No, no. I was going to say it's Sean's phone. Sean's. Yasiel Puig, second Joker card. He'll be playing. What are you going to see tonight, Sean? Uh, us. Oh, I've heard that's oh, pretty dang good. I want to hear how it is. Yeah. Yeah, let me know. Chris Davis. Anybody see us yet? No. That we're seeing? Yay, nay? Not This Is Us on NBC. We're talking about the movie. Just oh, to, there's just to a clarify. TV show called This Is Us? Mm -hmm. Don't tell me you're not watching that thing weekly religiously. I, know I you don't are. even know. Okay, I heard you crying the other night about that one, so don't even give me that. I was in tears. You were crying because somebody 
died or hit somebody else or Travis Shaw. Somebody the two cheated pity. on somebody. No, they don't cheat. That are, that's a wholesome show. Oh. I'm, well, see, I don't watch it. Wrong it's show. It's kind of depressing. Is what my, my wife used to watch it. It just seemed depressing to me. Altuve, Fortune Teller. I think it was Charmed I was watching. Really? Big Charmed <laughs> no. fan, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Big John, you're sitting there watching Charmed eating barbecue? Yeah. Hot three hot vampires. Oh, my God. What were those guys' names? They're not vampires. What were they? Witches? Witches. 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 Vampires. <laughs> Apparently, you're not paying very good attention not to your paying. charm well, show. Well, you know, when they're all dressed up pretty scantily and everything, it's hard to pay attention. Isn't that on like a, the WB or something like that? CW or CW. something like that. I can't keep track. CW. I don't even know if they still have it. I just I actually heard Chip <laughs> talking about it a couple days oh. ago. No, they, they rebooted it. Oh, did they? Yeah. Oh. Chip's watching that too. Chip. Jose Martinez Chip is watched, our next yeah. auto going to the St. Louis Cardinals. Dennis O'Brien is getting O. Jose Martinez. Riverdale's really fast. What's that? R Riverdale is the Dark Archie show that's on there. Never that heard of it. Jose. But you know, Archie, Jughead. Oh, yeah. Betty sure. Veronica. I'm out here. Have a good night. All right, Sean. Thanks, buddy. Enjoy your work. The legend is exiting the building. Sooner or later, it happens. <laughs> Troy's, Troy's entertained with your charmed and buffed to the vampire slayer. No, man, it's Vampire Diaries. No, dude, you're watching Buffy. No. I know. I you're well, like, you know, Sarah Michelle Geller was hot back then. I will admit to that. Yeah, you're. you're but my ex-wife watched Vampire Diaries, and I couldn't get into that. Yeah, you were watching that 90210 reboot, too, I bet, right? Hey, leave that alone. <laughs> I was a big Luke Perry fan. Moment, yeah, moment, uh, no, moment, I ain't going to diss Luke Perry. He's all right. Moment, Michael Copet, Chicago White Sox. Perry. There you go. Moment of silence. There you go. No, Luke Perry was okay. Back in the day, gosh. He drove that little hot little Porsche car that he had. <laughs> I thought you were going to go somewhere else with that one. <laughs> no. I thought you were going to make a Shannon Doherty reference no. or something. Is that who he dated in the show? Who didn't he date? But oh, that's uh, true. Hey, wait a minute. How would I know all that? I wouldn't know. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> so, the truth is coming out now. Come on, man. I was back in, I was in high, high school. Or, actually, I read about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nolan Arenado. You saw it on the magazines in the checkout lines. Yeah, you, you can't avoid it. You have to out there at Albertsons. You can't miss those. What was that one? Did miss that one, though. Oh, no, that wasn't. That was just one that didn't go out. I don't know if Luke Perry made it in that reboot. Can you answer that one? That I don't know. I didn't oh, know man. they did a reboot. Well, you thought it was the first one, from what I hear. Well, I remember the first one, because my sister used to watch it. Oh, okay. Well, see, that's she cool. You can blame it on the Perry sister. posters all over her room. Does everybody love Luke Perry? Yeah, she wasn't a Dylan fan or whatever. John Carlos Stanton. Half these people are just like, who the hell are all these people? I've never heard of such a thing. <laughs> Probably. So having to get old guys breaking cards who don't live in the basements of their parents' house. I'm fully clothed. That's all I have to say. <laughs> fully clothed. <laughs> yeah, but they don't know that because they only see you from the waist up. No. <laughs> Just telling you, that's it. You gotta have some. You gotta have an element of trust when people are handling your cards. <laughs> that's true. You, if he tells you that he's fully closed, you just trust him. The two of ones, Xander Bogarts. It's like the fifteenth Shohei Otani that I've seen, but they're all the same image. There's the base. I, I'm assuming they probably put a variation image on that one just because he's Shohei, but they they were all the same ones. Glaber Torres, fortune teller. Get me seeing those stars right there like that we're talking about all those little CW, WB, <laughs> whatever. Stephen Piscotti, the A's. Well, you know, little old number chip. to fifty for the A's. Little old Chip in the back, man in the warehouse. He talks about those shows. Right yeah, but what is Chip like? Eighteen years old. He's he's, I mean, he's a he's a kid still. Yeah, and he starts talking about all those shows, and I'm like, really, dude. I mean, it used to be like, wow, I can't believe that kid was born after I was in high school. Now it's like, wow, I can't believe that kid was born when I was over 30. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. That's some I mean, 
it's sad I can look at Chip and go, I could be your dad, <laughs> you know? Oh, I just go up to him and I'm just be like, who's your daddy? Who's your boss? <laughs> who's your boss? <laughs> Shouldn't be pulling that who's your daddy stuff. Wait, is this, is this recording? Well, what's funny is I guess James knows his dad from the casino. Aaron Judge, fortune teller. Wait a minute. James knows James' dad or knows James Chip's knows dad? James knows Chip's dad from the casino. Yeah, this city's so incestuous. I'm just telling you. Blue Border, Jose Abreu to uh, 250. I guess Chip's dad works there. Does he really? Yeah. You should probably know him too because you go to the casino plenty. Never met him. Javi Baez. <coughs> I don't walk in going, yeah, are you Chip's dad? Are you mm. Chip's dad? Could you be Chip's dad? You know, I'm your son's boss. Mine's <laughs> Big John. Everybody knows Big John. No, only on the interweb. All right. There's been lots of talk, and we're not seeing any big, giant, crazy hits. No, that's, that's kind of... I mean, we've seen some cool ones, though. I mean, actually, seen that cool McCutcheon ones. was pretty darn cool, but I'm just saying... I haven't seen a Kikuchi yet. I haven't either. Or I'd prefer not to see a Kikuchi. I'm just saying, if we pull a Kikuchi card. No. See that trout card? We've said like five of him already. Another fortune teller. Aaron Noah. King of Wands. Jesus Aguilar. A lot of brewers showing up in this one. They're getting a little more love now that they went to the playoffs last year. Speaking of love, Matt Olson of the Oakland A's. The A's have been hot. This, I think days. that's our second Olson auto. I know we got Chris Davis. I don't know, it was Matt, Chapman. Matt, was Matt Olson? Yeah, it was Chapman, Davis, and now Matt Olson. We're going to apparently get the whole team of Oakland A's autos on this one. Hey, who's got the A's? They'll be happy. I believe it was Chris. That's right. I don't remember what his last Davis. name is, but I'm not looking at it. But it was Davis. Chris. There you go, Chris. There's A number three. They're all going to be in the toppers. Just watch. Had a feeling about the Mariners. That they're going to be awesome? Yeah. That they're going to be. In so, really, man, we still see those two big old piles, and I got a half pile in the back. It, I know. You can still hit something. I know. You're pulling a lot more Rockies than the Mariners lately, though. <laughs> yeah. I haven't seen one D back. You got the D-backs? Yeah, I think I have the D-backs also. They traded away half their team. Do they have anybody left? Mm, probably not. I think Zach Grinke, maybe. He'll be gone by the midseason. Are they rebuilding? Well, they traded Goldschmidt away because they want to create an all-star team for the Cardinals. Yeah. Actually, the Cardinals aren't an all-star team, but that was a pretty solid trade. And then they extended him, and everybody else got extended at the same time. We're going to have like, no free agent class next year because everybody got extended. They were talking about that on ESPN today. It's crazy. They've got like 15 contract extensions, it seems like. I mean, DeGrom just got extended. All these Acuna. people getting, getting extended with their team. So, yeah, next year's free agency is going to be, like, limited. I mean, it's cool because now that these players are going to identify with their teams, there's a first show, hey, siding of something besides the base card. I say, is that Otani? Yep. He's not going to be pitching this year. No. He's going to show off that big bat. Kansas City's got another auto. Whit Merrifield. Kansas City. Matt Reeser has got number two. There you go, Matt. Oh, I see another bazooka. Max Muncy. There we go, the funky Muncy. Tell you, you need to get that song. No, I, will, I will. Seriously, I'm gonna like break into Dodger Stadium just with a recorder. Probably get it on iTunes or something. Um, actually, they well, it, they've got a YouTube YouTube clip, so I've seen that. <laughs> I'm just saying. You know, I went to the World Series hoping for a Max Muncy ho homer, and I didn't I didn't get to hear it because he wasn't there. Just hanging out with my Red Sox brother-in-law, watching him beat up on the Dodgers Scherzer. That must have been fun. Oh my gosh, dude. You know, if you're watching a game and they're playing the Red Sox, Edwin Diaz, there's nothing worse than hanging out with one of your Red Sox friends. Let me just tell you that right now. <laughs> <laughs> We're just telling you. 
If you're hanging out with your Red Sox friends and you're playing against the Red Sox, you're going to hear it. That just sucks. Tampa Bay Rays, Willie Adams. Yeah, I just, they're just, we'll just say they're very passionate. They're a very passionate fan. <laughs> well, got to be passionate. All right, Tampa Bay, Craig. It's quiet in here. It is quiet. The daughter, like, daughter's sleeping over there? Yeah, she's playing Roblox or something. Got the headphones on? No, oh, I just saw uh, nope. Steve, who that? Steven Duger? Yep, San Francisco, no name. I seriously need a poster of all the variations so we can... Uh, so we can have these all memorized. I can just knock it out and go, hey, that's an image variation. <laughs> Atlanta Braves, Mike. Bolt. The witch. Mike Wazowski. So the Braves aren't on TBS anymore, are they? You have to watch that Fox Sports Atlanta. TBS doesn't do Braves games anymore? I don't know if they do or not. If back in the day, we'd go to Lake Tahoe and watch Tahoe Tessie, we'd see a lot of Braves games and Cubs games. Hey, Lake Tahoe Tessie, she was probably watching the games through your window. That's why she was showing me what she had, man. That Were you jealous? Was it just what she had? Yeah. She had a big ass tail. That's what I'm gonna tell you. So I'm saying. Not the tail. Uh, you're always playing that's a variation. I don't even know. Oh, there's another bike front. Is that Altuve? Sure is. Altuve with no name on that. Come on, we gotta have at least one memorabilia piece. I mean. Look, I look at them. I don't think there's any memorabilia pieces. They're all they're all the same size. Yeah. But, but again, then maybe we've got something on the. Maybe the, in the. Yeah, I think we probably the got them. Tops. In, yeah, I think the box tops will probably show us a little bit. Edwin Diaz for the Mets. Oh, seriously, I was not joking when we said we're going to get the entire A's roster autograph. <laughs> no. Daniel Mengden. Well, there's four. I think we're five right now. Four or five, yeah. Four, or four? I don't know. I'm just I telling you right the, now. The Chris Davis, two mats, him. Yeah, seriously. He probably paid like five bucks for the A's, too. There you go, Chris. Got another one. Everybody else is just seriously ready to roll him up right now. <laughs> Probably. Roll them up and smoke them. I don't want to go that far. <laughs> yeah, keep. Let's leave that one alone. <laughs> yeah, that's I didn't say that. That's what I'm saying. I'm not going that Just far. Saying. <laughs> we'll play those games over here. Shohei Atani, tarot card. I think the other one was a tarot too that we had. Right now, I'm getting very, very curious what's in this box top after seeing yeah, this me stuff too. here. No, me BS. too. I'm thinking all the flash I was seeing earlier must have come out of there. It's all a bunch of A's cards and Jose Peraza. The box top is probably pretty. have the rest of the A's team. Probably. I'm going to see Bob Melvin rolling out in a second. <laughs> Freddie Freeman. It's the first Freddie Freeman I've seen. Roberto Mondesi. That kid's a good one. Is that Ruben Mondesi's son? I don't know. I think it is, but I'm not positive. I should know that. I just know that he's pretty solid. George Spring with the blue variation to 250. Let's see who's hungry. There's some pizza over there. If you're hungry. She's got that and she's got JD Martinez. Bread sticks, but we need some ice cream. Zoe, you want some ice cream? You can answer. I'm not answering. 
She reminds me a lot of your wife once she has that look. Yeah. Corey Kluber. Hey, that's the first numbered uh, fortune teller, Xander Bogart, so 250. See, she's giving me just death stare. Another Aaron Judge. All right, let's get another bazooka back here. I was hoping for some more pop. Yeah, pop's still coming. You still got all those, the box toppers. Toppers. all those tellers. There's pizza. Yeah, we got Papa John's next door. So if you want more pizza, then we'll, we'll do something later. Sometimes all you want is a big burrito. In Florida, Los Jalpenos there. Or a margarita. Yeah, I'm okay with a margarita. See if we can get a couple to go. We can have a little <laughs> fiesta. <laughs> yeah. Isn't it Taco Tuesday? Yeah, it's Wednesday. Uh, oh, crap. Almost. <laughs> all right, last pile. We're going to need some toppers, guys. Archie Bradley, Blue Variation, the 250. Altuve. Yeah. Juan Soto. That was the 250 on the Fortune Teller. All right. Let's make sure we don't have any bazooka backs floating around on that one. Doesn't look like it. Let's get to the good stuff. All right, let's see what we got in this. Let's see if these are going to be all what they cracked up to be. All right, guys, we're going to hit the toppers. We'll do a quick hit recap after that. And then, uh, then we'll be on break number two. Break number two starts in nine minutes. How's that for timing? We did pretty okay. Then it's the after hours Columbia hobby. And then, then it's break number two after hours. <laughs> no these, are, these are all numbered, by the way. Really? Yeah. It's all serial number topper. Well, I, as soon as I say that, it's, I found one that's not numbered. Let's see if there's a Kikuchi in there. On each one. I'm going to do one by one from the from the bottom so I can see the numbering. Edgar Martinez. Oh, see, there's one that's numbered uh, 25. There's a variation, too. Yeah. On the back. All right, guys. Let's see what kind of toppers we got here. One of those is a little different. Okay, first one's going to be numbered to 150. Kenley Jansen. These are all chromed out, too, by the way. This one is not numbered. Juan Soto. These are actually pretty sweet. Look at them. Are they chrome? Yeah, they're all chromiumed out. Unnumbered Jose Barrios. No, seriously, these look really sweet. Unnumbered Kenley Jansen. Yeah, if you're a Kenley Jansen fan. Unnumbered Yachty. All right, wondering if you got my messages about the next break. What the Angels? Uh, sit tight, Nick. Albies. Congratulations. Apparently, we got ourselves a nice auto to 25. Kyle Tucker, how's that? Houston Astros. That is a solid card, actually. That's a very good pull. Kyle Puck. <laughs> Watch my mouth. We're not on after hours yet. Kyle Tucker. Tucker. <laughs> Kyle, <laughs> Kyle Tucker to 25 <laughs> Chrome Auto. This one actually I think is the best one so far I've seen tonight. Houston Astros, Caesar. Caesar. For our cards so far? Yeah, I think so. That one's uh, auto wise. I think that's pretty solid. Jose Martinez, no numbering. Next one, no numbered. Max Kepler. No number. Nick Castellanos. New York Met without a number, Jacob DeGrom. No number, Juan Segura, Philadelphia. No number, Nolan Arenado. All right, Nick, we actually got you covered. Go ahead and make the payment for the other team. Ignore the Angels. We got the Angels covered. Uh, Javi Baez, no number. Paul DeJean, St. Louis Cardinals. That one's unnumbered. Next number, with next one without a number is going to be Clayton Kershaw. This one is Ronald Acuna. I'll just say if there's a number. Jake Bowers. And if you didn't like that, Jake Bowers. You can see you can have this Jake Bowers. Neither one of them have a number. Kansas City, Ryan O'Hearn. Two back to 
Oh, I like these. It's funny. They're, they got a, they're colored differently. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Scratch that. That Jake Bauer is number to 50. I saw a colored variation. Apparently, I got to put the crack pipe down. Kyle Schwarber, the Cubs. It's not after hours yet. All right. Not a problem, Nick. You're good, buddy. Chris Archer, blue border. So that one's going to be numbered to 150. Brandon Nemo. Billy Hamilton. This one's got a number going to 50. Whit Merrifield. For your Seattle Mariners, Mitch Hamager. Chris Archer. It's not done yet. We still got a couple more to go. There's a blue Yadi or Molina. Number to 150. Brian Anderson, Miami Marlins. And we're going to wrap that one up with Miguel Cabrera. The Tigers. All right, quick hit recap as far as the autos go, and then we are going to go on to break number two. All right, so for our autographs, Kyle Tucker, this one was the 25 for the Houston Astros. Daniel Mangden, Oakland A's. Mike Bolchenowicz, Atlanta Braves, however the hell you say his name. Willie Adams, Tampa Bay. Whit Merrifield, Kansas City Royals. Matt Olson, Oakland A's. Michael Kopech, Chicago White Sox. Jose Martinez, St. Louis Cardinals. Andrew McCutcheon of the nice Yankees. Card. That one was numbered to 50. Eddie Rosario, Minnesota Twins. Max Muncy, that funky Muncy. Corbin Burns, Milwaukee Brewers. David Bote, Chicago Cubs. Colin Moran, Pittsburgh Pirates. Matt Chapman, Oakland A's. Dylan Cousins, Philadelphia Phillies. Chris Davis, Oakland A's. Brad Keller, Kansas City Royals. Christian Stewart to 150 for the Detroit Tigers. George Springer, Houston Astros. Cedric Mullins, Baltimore Orioles. What's up, Mike? All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and stop the stream real quick. We will uh, jump over to uh, break number two here in a couple minutes so I can clear the table and get the case up here. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you in a couple.